The Shred Shed Podcast. Yo, what up? This is Earl Shreds, boy. And Sydney Shreds. Ooh. And this is your number one podcast. For all things rock and roll, music, or just plain awesome. Y'all don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got, at Earl Shreds. And don't forget to check out the website, www.earlshreds.com. Thank Hello, Earthlings. Hope that... We're all doing okay today because apparently my family's finally come home to get me. And I am beyond excited to finally go home. Finally excited to be back at my home planet of Uranus. I've said it before, it's not my anus. It's not Uranus. It's our anus. And there are big things that we absolutely need to talk about coming through the pipeline. Is it a PSYOP? Is it obfuscation? Are they hiding? What are we doing? We need to know the answers, and this podcast is the most credible thing you'll ever hear. Obviously, I'm completely credentialed in that fact. But they're here. Aliens are here. Apparently, aliens are here among us. Um... No confirmation on the probings. That was a big, big thing. I know. I'm still wondering about the probings, but um, apparently we'll, we'll get into that. And if we can actually get to talk to the aliens, then the first thing I'm gonna ask is, what's up with the butt stuff? That's really what I want to know about. Butt stuff. Why are they doing the butt stuff? So were probings real? I don't know, but apparently there are aliens here among us. Literally today, right now. Oh, there's an alien in this room, honestly, with me right now. Um, Earl Shreds the alien. If I can get a spaceship with an Earl Shreds uh, logo on the side with some rims, I wonder if I can get a lift kit for... Do you think you can get a lift kit for a UFO flying saucer? These are the serious questions that I think we need to know about, honestly. Aliens are here, aliens are here, aliens are here, aliens are here, no doubt. I'm very excited that um, our alien overlords have come to finally get me out of this job. I'm sure a lot of y'all are in the shitty jobs you hate. I ain't making fun. But I know that, like, dude, there could be a flying saucer literally come down on top of the city that you live in and your boss is still going to be like, did you fill out your expense reports? Fuck. You know, are you, no time off. Our shareholders need to know that we're working for them. Uh, it's disgusting, truly. I don't want to hear that noise either. It's, ugh. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to talk about the aliens today, no doubt. We're going to talk about work. I want to talk about work. What does it mean to work now? I don't know if I'm just getting horrible things via doom scrolling on, um, I don't know, like, whatever, TikTok or who knows what. But um, we need to talk about just work. What does it mean to work? And... It's everybody just seems so anxious all the time, including myself, just because of money and work. Um, but we need to talk about these aliens. But first, y'all, please go check out, first of all, my Patreon. Please go check out pa my Patreon. Um, you can support me by $2 a month, and it really helps me. I do this full time. I'm a musician. I do this as a podcast full time. And everything I put out, I try not to ask much. If y'all can just please check out the Patreon. Go subscribe. It's $2 a month. You can even pay for more and you get more. I put up, right now I'm putting up studio. There's a studio footage video from my single that I'm planning to release this summer or maybe even next month um, that's up there. It's just unedited studio footage because I recorded that day. 
So please check out the Patreon. Um, subscribe at earlshreds.com or my Shopify page, earlshreds.shopify.com. You can purchase merch. I say the Patreon because, honestly, mer there's no money in merch, and I try not to make my stuff too expensive, even though it already is. Um, that's why I ask you go to the Patreon. But check out the merch store. Support me by repping some of my shirts. I got some cool stuff up there. Um, I need to put some alien stuff. No doubt, bro. And um, I really just need to get it together. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? Single. Yeah, we finished the single. We'll talk about that today. I've definitely got to mention that. We finished the single last week. Two days. Really proud of the band. So proud of Nate, Ethan, and Liz. They just tore it up, sauced it down, went in the studio. Oh, proud of Will, too. Thank you, Will. Robert. Robert Bree. Robert B., Robert Braun, whatever you want to call him. The man with the freaking plan, Will, my buddy Will. He is just the producer. He should get producer of the millennia. So if the aliens are looking, if the aliens came down and said, take me to your... Your number one producer here on Earth, I'd take him to Will, and I'd take him to Stormy Cooper Media. Thank you, Stormy Cooper Media, for being such an awesome and friendly and inviting place. And thank you to Will and the band for just coming in clutch. We put in the work. We're still putting in the work, but I'm really looking forward to the single sounding really good. But um, first... First and foremost, we need to talk about aliens. Now, I'm looking between shows and going out this week, weekend. I mean, you know, I'm doom scrolling, dealing with anxiety from scrolling on stupid social media too much. And I'm seeing this conference where there is an apparently an alien disclosure briefing by the government and this dude I think his name is Dr. Greer he is I mean he's coming in hot with some real serious claims um like I mean it's it's a um, another level honestly I mean if if this dude's telling the truth why, you know, what, why are we just, why are y'all dealing, worrying about your expense reports and shit and worrying about customer care and synergy? I mean, fuck that. If aliens are here, there's so many memes on the internet, like if aliens came, do I still have to go to work? It's not a meme. They'd make you go to fucking work. I promise you. If the aliens came in here and you had a giant radar dish sticking out of your fucking butthole, you'd still go to work. Your, your squirrely, skeletor-ass fucking boss who's pale as fuck and talks about grilling hot dogs on the weekend as the pinnacle of his fucking life, he would, on Monday, be like, why aren't you here? And he'd threaten you with your fucking job, especially if you work corporate. Oh, yeah, they, I mean, they don't give a fuck. The, the aliens are probably, they want the aliens to come. I don't know, dude, but yeah, they'd absolutely, you go to work. It ain't a meme. I promise you it ain't no freaking meme. Your ass going to work, even if you got fucking laser beams shooting out of your nipples, dude. And an alien's going bleep, 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 we're here in peace. Here we go. We got a story. This one's from the New York Post I'm reading. Pentagon whistleblower claims Vatican helped U.S. retrieve UFO from Benito. <laughs> Benito Mussolini, we're bringing back, obviously, Mussolini had a um, <laughs> close tie with aliens, apparently. Um, this story is by, this article is written by Ronnie Rice, Rays, whatever. Came out on June 13th. Hold on, there's an ad that says, I'm watching a fight right now. Women punching each other and scantily, it's spring break mayhem. Shout out to Spring Break was lit. I didn't do shit. I haven't done shit for Spring Break in a year because I'm poor. The Pentagon whistleblower who claimed the U.S. collected alien UFOs over the years said America retrieved one such saucer 
from World War II Italian dictator Benito Mussolini after getting a tip from Pope Pius the Twelfth. David Grush. David Grush, this is the guy. This is the name. He is the apparently credentialed alien. Uh, he didn't work for the CIA. He worked for one of the acronym fucking three-letter agencies. So he is not to be trusted in my book. But he's credentialed, and he is the guy. David Grush, 36, an Air Force veteran, former intelligence official, claimed the Vatican was involved in the first-ever mission of America's alleged Top secret UFO retrieval program. There's a statement right there. If true, why the fuck am I going to work? Why the fuck am I paying my bills? Why the fuck am I dealing with these suburbanite scumbags dealing with their anxiety about their kids got to go to fucking swim meet and little Johnny's dyslexic and your expense reports aren't done? Just that statement. Think about this statement. Air Force veteran claims Vatican was involved in first ever, ever mission of America alleged top secret UFO retrieval program. Is that where the probing comes from? Is that where the kitty touching originated from? I don't think so because I believe this is a completely unsubstantiated, unresearched claim that I, do, I know everything about. I don't. I, I think kitty touching goes way back in the Catholic tur- Church. Could be wrong about that. I don't know. But if not, is the kitty touching stemming from aliens, or or did they learn probing from aliens? Why it's only children doesn't make sense because I don't think aliens are into that. Big things we need to figure these out. Grush, however, did not provide any evidence of these claims. That's weird. Weird. Psyop, 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 psyop. 1933 was the first recovery in Europe. Magenta, magenta, tilly, it all at New Station Sunday. In 1933, wow, in Italy, they recovered a partially intact, the whoa, had a stroke, and the Italian government moved it to a secure air base in Italy. Until around 1944, in 1945, I'm trying to think of the situation. I'm trying to envision this situation in my head. A fascist nightmare blunt rotation, no doubt. Fascist Italian dictator, Adolf Hitler, and gray aliens. Nightmare blunt rotation or dream blunt rotation? Sounds like a good time to me. You just imagine Hitler zooted off his mind with some three-foot gray alien tickling his butthole and Mussolini's yelling about bringing back Rome. (laughs) The Pope back-channeled that. The Pope back-channeled that. (laughs) What a fucking sentence. The Pope back-channeled that and told the Americans that the Italians had and we ended up scooping it, Grush said, of the alleged post-war mission. Here he is. Let me put him on the screen. If you're just listening, I'm putting him up on the screen. There is David. Cute-looking fella. Pretty white. Average white dude. The so-called whistleblower claimed that the Vatican was certainly aware of alien existence and that UFO sightings over Italy during Mussolini's dictatorship were widely known. Oh, he's got his medals. See, yeah, he's credentialed. Alleged, the alleged first mission of the U.S. to acquire a UFO came following a trip from Post, Pope Pius XII. There's Mussolini. We've got a picture of Mussolini. Grush, Grush, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Grush is a decorated combat officer who served in Afghanistan and also worked for the National Geo... Here, here's where he worked. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency 
and the National Reconnaissance Office. He claimed that the UFO retrieval program last week again, offering no evidence. So he's only saying people what people told him. As far as I know, he hasn't seen anything, he hasn't touched anything. Unlike uh, Bob Lazar. I thought it was totally nuts. And I thought at first I was being deceived. It was a ruse, Grudge said of the alleged program. People started to confide in me. People started to come out of the closet to me. Whoa, just kidding. That was, that was added. That was editorialized by Earl Shred. Sorry. I have plenty of senior former intelligence officers that came to me. See, PSYOP, 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 obfuscation. Um, my thoughts on this, that he's got no pictures or anything and he hadn't touched anything and that this might be a PSYOP, very much colliding with the Trump indictment shit. It cannot be a coincidence that they made Trump drive his ass down to Florida to go get fingerprinted and arraigned and at the same time, we got this bald suburban dude out here saying aliens pro Mussolini. It can't not be a coincidence. I mean, hold on. Let me look up this Trump shit. I, I need to talk about this because it is. The news won't stop talking about it. That's all fucking CNN. The lame, the lame stream media, you know, the squirrels that own half this country that are brainwashed into, um, you know, thinking that you, there's 14, 15 different types of blah, you know, it's all you hear about. I mean, this is what I don't get. Apparently this dude says the government has back engineered and we'll get to this part of the story. Cause I've been hearing this, what the fuck this dude says the government has alien UFO craft. They've back engineered it. Now the aliens are worried and feel threatened by the dark black secret government that has back engineered this technology because he says they've got to a point where the back engineered alien tech they have is a threat to them and other civilizations. He's claiming that there is a group of many alien civilizations that are now threatened by it evolved apes on earth and that we should be concerned because apparently since the forties or something, the U S government, I guess with Roswell, Roswell was real. I mean, come on, we know that Roswell, Roswell. Oh, hell ring the bell. It's real. Let's go, baby. Aliens are here. They are here. He is saying, I think he made a claim. This, I saw this on TikTok, so you know it's 100% true, that the devastating Turkey earthquakes in the beginning of this year or last year were caused from this Gravitron pulse anal beam or some shit. But he says the aliens are apparently worried now because we've gotten to the point where we can back into their shit. Now we're going to fight them. And, dude... If the U.S. government finds oil on the alien home planet, you're fucked, uh, Xenotron 5000. That's what they're worried about, buddy. They're worried about a fucking... They know as soon as the U.S. government finds it, either oil in the ground in space or a developing country with brown individuals, we're on the way. To turn it, there's no such thing as on-the-rise nations. We turn them in. You're developing nation because we say you are, my friend. They are going to, I swear, put a giant skull and crossbones 101 first Space Force division Coming in, Fortunate Son, Creedence Clearwater Revival blaring with laser beams shooting at this and a bald eagle flying in going, ah, ah, 
coming to get the oil, buddy. That's what the aliens, I think, are really scared because they know they know that we love hamburgers and we love turning nations to developing nations. And we will do what it takes to get the oil for democracy, <laughs> for freedom. As soon as we, we see the alien homeland and we see there's not enough freedom over there, done. Out of here, buddy. Oh, my God. Let me take a drink. Um, you know, it can get a little tiring unlocking the secrets of the universe. Oh, that was good. So, yeah, the coincidence here, I think, it's a little weird that this dude's saying that the U.S. black government, like black deep state government, has alien baggage in tech, tech, the aliens are in contact with people here and are here, and at the same time, the lamestream news media on the left can only talk about Donald Trump getting indicted or getting arraigned in whatever, Florida. Right-wing mainstream media can only talk about woke transgender stuff. It's So we know that both sides are, like, fronting. Obviously, they got the agenda. Obviously, they got their agendas. We know that. But is this what they're hiding? Is this what we... Are like trying to get away from. I mean, I'm not sure, guys. I'm really not sure. Um, let me take a break, and then we'll go and we'll read about this Trump crap. All right, guys, we're back. Let's talk about the Trump. Let's talk about what they're obfuscating. That's my favorite word. People call me a nerd because I use it because I am a fucking nerd. If you don't know me, I'm a fucking dork. You know, Google's going to spit out. Look, top two fucking results from the Google is CNN and PBS. Let's see what the third one is. Look, yeah, here it is. If you, go to, if you type in Google and Trump and Trump, Trump indictment, Look at how much they're putting this 16 hours ago, one day ago, three hours ago, 46 minutes ago. They're live 17 hours ago, 14 hours ago, 15. Here's, yeah, more news, more news from CNN, CNN, New York Times, ABC News, BBC News, PBS. Yeah, real fucking news. I'm sure I'm going to get a copywriter content strike on my fucking YouTube for this, whatever. I don't care. Actually, I do fucking care. Don't do it because I do want to be on fucking YouTube. So dumb. I know the algorithm is already going to shit on me for doing this, but I don't care. Read the full and Trump indictment on mishandling of classified. Joe Biden did the same shit. Joe Biden as vice president was he wasn't even the president. He took on shit. Hillary Clinton did, too. They all do. Who gives a fuck? There's aliens here. You think I give a fuck about some stupid classified shit? The president didn't even know anything different. I bet the president didn't even know about this fucking aliens. I don't give a fuck. I can't even, I'm trying to read this. It's all left-wing shit. If I type in some woke shit, I'll be Fox News and fucking OAN. I mean, the latest on, here's from fake lamestream news media, CNN, the latest on Trump's historic federal indictment. Bizarro world stuff. Daniel Dale, white suburbanite, fact checks Trump's indictments claims. It's about equality and diversity in your ESG score. Your ESG score. GOP candidate as a. What we're covering. Here's what we're covering at CNN brought to you. At CNN, brought to you by Pfizer and canola oil and anxiety medication. There is definitely, for the amount of shit that CNN writes, there's not an Adderall shortage for CNN employees. These motherfuckers are hopped up on Marxist ideology and Adderall just spewing out the dumbest shit you've ever seen. Literally the 
journalism department in life, A1 or A4 or whatever high school fucking was better than this crap. What we're covering, former President Donald Trump pleaded not guilty to 37 criminal charges. Who cares? I mean, it's like, yeah, I, I can't even read. There's nothing even here. It's just headlines. What is he being indicted on? I'm so tired of hearing about Donald fucking Trump. I was hard, tired of hearing about him a year into his fucking presidency. Yeah, I, I'm. if you listen to this, at least you, if you actually listen this far in and to this deep, you can now get my... I was, I was fed up with Donald Trump, not him, just the existence of what was happening a year into his presidency. Because I got tired of hearing motherfuckers who were worshiping him it's just like I got tired of your motherfuckers who hated him on the left. It was it's the weirdest fucking thing, dude. I when I was a teenager, I mean, I just remember George Bush, heavy metal music, getting into heavy metal music, a lot of anti I Big time anti Iraq, Afghanistan, Middle East war. Nobody fucking talked about Bush as they shouldn't have in any other way than he was a dumb fucking president and he's a war criminal. And then Obama got in, and I could it. I, I see looking back when Obama became president, the seeds of this dumb fucking shit that I unfortunately have the misfortune of growing up now in and experiencing my 30s in the political environment that we live in. And I saw the hatred from the right from Obama. I remember listening to right-wing AM radio with my dad, and the motherfuckers were talking about Obama was literally, you know, like the end of the world. He's going to take away our guns. He's going to send the Gestapo to take away our guns. And that was the beginning of it. It was nothing but that. And then they felt vindicated getting their guy when they got Trump and the left just turned into them. And now it's just shit throwing back and forth all the time from the right and the left. The fucking right is woke. We're here to stop the woke agenda. And the left has just completely lost their mind 100% co-opted by communists. So, yeah, I love living in the political environment reminiscent of 1931 Weimar. I mean, Jesus, uh, it's ridiculous. And we've got political shit throwing from communist left and nationalist right. What the fuck? I, it was so much better when I was a kid. And when nobody, everyone, nobody hated or th very few people. The majority of people didn't give a fuck about politicians, hated almost everything they did. But as long as they stayed the fuck out of our way, we just laughed at them and got mad when we paid them each year. Now it's a fucking team. It's like. We've been brainwashed. And I've been watching a lot of videos on the TikTok accent. It's part of it. It's like that TikTok accent is affiliated with this team brainwashing. Hey, guys, did you hear that Baby Gronk just hit up Rizzler God on Baby Gronk TikTok? TikTok bloop bloop bloop. Baby Gronk did TikTok on Baby Gronk 1v1 cream, cream drop Fortnite Supreme. Baby Gronk did Baby Gronk. <laughs> Today we did Baby Grump versus Mr. Beast Yacht Club 1v1 Master Beast Master 1v1 Rizzler Riz God <laughs> God this country is so fucked These people in this country are so fucked Donald Trump the twice impeached president I can't even read this shit I'm not even going to go in further to this crap Because it's so stupid It's just why are we talking about Guys, I'm about to blow a fucking lid. I mean, ARO director Sean Kirkpatrick. I, I, we got to see if there's one more alien thing before I, we move on. UFO news latest. <laughs> CNN, UFOs are apparently racist. <laughs> oh. That's true. That is absolutely true. Yeah, the pen, let's do, um, 
Here's the Guardian. The U.S. Whoa. U.S. urged to reveal urged to reveal UFO evidence after claims that it has intact alien vehicles. Whistleblower former intelligence official says government possesses intact and partially intact craft of non-human origin. <laughs> the U.S. has been urged to disclose evidence on aliens after a whistleblower former intelligence says the government has them intact and partially intact alien vehicles. The story is from... Sorry, I got to give credit where credit is definitely not due. Adam Gabbett with two T's from The Guardian. I wonder, I can't, does The Guardian lean left, right? I think they just, they're more establishment, like military industry. I think they simp hard for the military industry. Jonathan Gray confirmed the existence of exotic materials. Yeah, that's what I call a nasty dump I take after going to the bar. <laughs> we adding we are not alone the disclosure comes after a massive shit and resvel <laughs> just kidding comes after a swell of credible sightings 2021 pentagon released a uip report which didn't really do anything except they acknowledge that they exist psyop 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 no doubt the materials include intact and partially intact vehicles the non-human intelligence phenomenon phenomenon is real. We are not alone, Gray said. Retrievals of this kind are not limited to the United States. Absolutely, dude. I mean, it's insane. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's all so, like... I don't... It's all so coincidental and at the same time typical you know what I mean it's I'm sorry it, it just I don't know it, it just blows my mind it doesn't make sense that if this is real and aliens are here, that Trump can just, or that CNN and the establishment White House backed news media can only talk about Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Is it that big of a deal that Donald Trump bribed hookers and took home some stupid declassified? It probably, it was probably the duck. I bet the documents that Trump took home that he's getting arrested were the dumbest fucking classified. Like, I'm of the opinion that, like, and I've heard it, I can't speak on specifics because I'm too stupid, but people that worked in the government, I've heard them talk about classified, like, clearance levels. Like, if you work for the federal government and pass the background check, you get a clearance level. Like, it's not a big fucking deal. What I, They never say what the fuck were in these documents. Because Joe Biden, all Republicans passed, Democrats passed, take on these fucking documents. Anything they like to frame them up, you know, some of them are classified documents about where the best shitter is in the White House. Which toilet flushes the best. Fucking Bill Clinton wants to take it home. Which closet has enough room for two girls to blow you at the same time? And he wants to put it on his wall. But they're not arresting him. Is it really more important than fucking aliens? If there's aliens here, what the fuck does it matter? I it, what even if there's not aliens, what the fuck does it matter about Trump anyways? It probably matters because it's another power grab and we're going to be solely become corporate slaves just as most half the country has in the past two two years and most corporate automatons are right now. It's got to be, if both the aliens and Donald Trump have got to be narratives being pushed by the oligarchy, the corporate overlords, because they're they're obviously planning to take something because that's all they fucking do. I've gotten to the point where all this aliens, Trump, woke, it all seems like a front. Every time they say they're teaching transgender stuff to kids in 
the classroom. There's aliens in my ass. Donald Trump is Satan. He should be arrested. All of it to me seems like distractions. They've all got to be distraction because I've been hearing the same shit for the past at least 10 years watching since 2008. The corporations just steal every fucking thing from us and raise prices for everything while they buy bigger and bigger fucking houses and go on more and more vacations and hide their money and more and more offshore fucking black accounts. Nobody's ever fucking talked about that shit, and that shit's actually happened. For the past three years, these goofy fucks from these three-letter agencies have been nonstop talking about aliens are here, they're coming, but they never fucking happen. Nobody talks about how fucking BlackRock is buying up all the single-family homes so they can make us all a renting class. That shit happens every fucking day. So I have to believe the Donald Trump shit from the left the fucking woke shit from the right and the alien shit from the government and the CIA has to be fronts for corporations stealing something. What the fuck are they stealing now? And I honestly, I had the thought in my, they love war so much. I think because I've gotten, I've never seen in my entire life, motherfuckers put Ukraine flags, paint their fucking nails, put it in their bio and shit cheering on. I mean, there are motherfuckers still to this day, if you don't support Ukraine in this war, if you don't support going to the brink of thermonuclear fucking war, you are Satanist, you are a fascist, you love Putin, and put the flag in your front yard, I have them on my fucking street in suburban Texas. Ukrainian fucking flags. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. I mean... Meanwhile, my point was that these fucking idiots are the 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 bootlickers for the military industrial complex and the banks and the corporations. I think they've honestly taken everything they can from in they focus so much on foreign policy because they've taken everything they fucking can from us, the people that live in this fucking country. What else can they take? They buy all the fucking houses. They raise the price of food. They don't give you fucking insurance. They let the insurance company run a fucking monopoly on your health. They are obviously bought and paid for by the fucking pharmaceutical companies. I don't think there's anything else for them to take from Americans. So they brainwash us into fucking going to Ukraine or going to other some country because there's nothing left here. We got to take it from them. I mean, that's it's like the corporations are using the fucking military as their long dick to just take shit from other foreign countries because we ran out of shit to take from people in America. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm so fucking tired of all this shit. I go on my fucking TikTok feed, and it's nothing but conspiracy theorists and communists talking about there's fascists in America, there's communists in America, it's the end of the thing. I, it's, I hate... I'm so fucking done with it all. I'm so, so over it. I mean, it's like, whatever. Stupid motherfuckers is what it is. I mean, guys, I got to take a break. I'm worked the fuck up. I'm taking a break, and then we'll be back. Okay, everyone, I breathed in my chakra air, my cream chakra. I took in chakra cream. And I busted it up, getting a little heated there. Sorry, guys. I've asked myself many times, Earl Shreds, what does it matter? And is it worth it getting this mad? You know, oh, I got to take my shoes off. It's hot, dude. It is a hot one here in the Lone Star State. I mean, it's heating up, baby. I don't know anything about sports, but I know that it's heating up. Game one, whatever, you know what I mean. But, you know, I'm real with you guys. Frustration is, it's here, man. Um, I don't know if a lot of us feel this way. Work is tough. Not doing what you don't love to do is what I mean by that. And I think so many, so many of us are trapped in serving other people or serving someone else 
whatever it is to help them make money. We got barking dogs. We got dumb dogs. I have a hard time understanding how people can just get through life just essentially as slaves. I don't know. I mean, I worked so hard the past 10 years. I was told, you know, go to college, get the grades, get the job, get the 401k, go to the work, take your vacations, take your two vacations a year. And so many people are locked in that system. I try, I just, it's hard to do what you love and get paid. Or some people, they just, I don't know. I love doing this podcast and playing music. And I strive so hard to do that full time. Because there's definitely the monotony of just being treated like shit being treated like you're a cog in the machine. I mean, back to, you know, back to the earlier point, like, it's even harder. If there's fucking aliens, what is, why am I, I don't want to hear the coffee talk. I don't want to hear anything about coffee. I don't want to hear what you did over the weekend. I don't want to hear what your fucking golf score was. It's point. It's so useless to me. I just don't get it. I really don't understand it. You know. I try to be a nice person, and you know, care about what everybody else care. I try to when people come up to me, and they tell me about something they genuinely love to do. I try to be um, open minded and see their side, but just. Some people are just so fucking lost without purpose. Just slaves, just unhealthy, taking the pills, taking the drugs, doing whatever the corporations tell them to do. Tell Aliens, take me away. I mean, look. Here we go, look. The Pentagon is investigating UFOs that possibly turned off Nuclear warheads by who this one's this article is from Popular Mechanics. Yeah, I said Popular Mechanics. Popular Mechanics. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a stroke. Former Air Force officials, uh, officers say they encountered the objects near the U.S. by Shak Sachaka Brodsky. Published February 23rd, 2023, this year, dude. Nuclear threats in Mount, there are in Mount nuclear threats. Former Air Force personnel reportedly told the Pentagon about their encounters with UFOs back in the 1960s. It's been a jam-packed month for unidentified flying objects. So let's add one more juicy PP of the UFO news to the pile. Government is supposedly investigating reports of UFOs somehow deactivating nuclear warheads. Fuck yeah, that's so badass. First person to write a song about that, dude. I'm jumping on it. As soon as the muse comes to me on that idea, I'm writing that bitch. The Daily Mail claims that former U.S. Air Force personnel have testified that UFOs interfered with nukes in the 60s, baby. The officers reportedly recently told the government's all-domain anomaly resolution office, the AARO, that the bizarre encounters with the objects near the U.S. military bases, yes, sir, Dude, the, the, um, 
the Daily Mail said they have emails showing that AARO staff contacted former Air Force ICBM launch officer Robert Salas to get information about the encounter with an orange flying disc that switched off 10 warheads. Don't be 10 minutes late to your useless job. Have you logged your projects? What are your KPIs this month? Aliens are deactivating nukes. I'm covering my eyes with my hair because I'm so ang so anxious from just the thought of nine to fives. And then the combination thought, the combo thought of me having to go to my nine to five and then aliens deactivating nuclear warheads is truly freaking me out. It's giving me such a duo, such a um, such a dual feeling of weirdness. Damn, I'm hungry, dude. I ain't in a long time. Many observers say UFO sightings should be treated with a great deal of skepticism. Psyop, 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 ESG scores, ESG scores. Still, the government is trying to corral reports of strange activity in the skies into a format that can more rigorously be investigated more rigorously. There's this. Let's see what. I like this guy. He's on TikTok. I guess he works for. I think he works for um, popular mechanics. America's U-2 spy plane is famously tough to land. So the last place you'd expect to find it operating from this is not about UFO. the rolling flight decks of the Navy's aircraft carrier. I don't care about that. I want to hear about the aliens. Sorry, uh, I guess I'll watch. But believe it or not, it's happened more than once. On August 3rd of 1963, Lockheed test pilot Bob Schumacher became the first to fly a U-2 from a carrier when he took off from the USS Kitty Hawk. But landing proved to be much tougher than taking off, so he diverted to Burbank, California, and Lockheed set about modifying the aircraft for carrier landings. By March of 64, Schumacher was at it again this time taking off from California and landing on the USS Ranger. And these drills were so successful that a few months after that, the CIA and Navy were flying secret U-2 recon flights over French Polynesia to monitor French atomic weapons tests. And there were even ideas rolling around to arm the U-2 with Condor anti-ship missiles. In the years that followed, both the CIA and the Navy led a number of efforts to field the U-2 from flat tops. Many of them came with successful test flights, but its pretty sick. wingspan and the secrecy Sorry. involved just proved to be a nightmare for ships at sea. And with satellite technology it's pretty sick. rapidly, the whole concept was shelved indefinitely by the mid-1970s. Dude, I want to fly a flying saucer off an aircraft carrier. Built to give America Absolutely not. I'm totally down to do that. Yeah, I want to fly a flying saucer off of a aircraft carrier. That would be sick. That would be so lit. That would... <laughs> Baby Gronk just flew aircraft carrier Riznator on Baby Gronk. Baby Gronk did aircraft carrier 1v1 landing. TikTok stream, Baby Gronk. I love that. I don't. Somebody. I don't know know what Baby Gronk is, but I see it in comments. I love the word. It rolls off the tongue, Baby Gronk. Holy Grail or epic hoax? Australian Kelly Calhill's UFO abductions. If her story is to be believed, on August seventh. On. saw UFO beings from another world. As detailed in her book, 1996 Book Encounter. Sorry, I read that like dyslexia. Mrs. Cahill's case had all the hallmarks of the classic alien abduction story from the era. Lost time, strange spaceships, probing. I googled probe, alien probing, and I 
Fucking Google is censoring alien probing. It won't even give me. A detailed report in their claims was never released. The other witnesses never came forward. Hooded figures with glowing eyes. I could see that the orange lights were really windows, and I could make out figures standing behind the portals, she wrote. This was at midnight. Whoa. That looks sick. Kelly Cahill. Oh, what is that? Cahill's drawing of the being she claimed to have encountered in Nar Narawaran, taken from her book Encounter. Sydney-based researcher Bill Chalker was one of the first people Mrs. Cahill contacted. That's him. Whoa. Burning bright in the night. By 1996, she was a big name on the UFO circuit, hitting the circuit. Now, if this happened in modern times, she'd have an OnlyFans. What? Her book published by Harper Collins sold out and was quickly reprinted. It's currently out of print and copy sell for, oh, okay, it's rare. $150. That's nuts. I mean, that's crazy. Here's what aliens would look like from experts. Indescribable. Uh, first we got... Hold on. Chandra Wakam Ramshanshki. Together with the late Fred, they would look like b bacteria. He suggests that microbial life may have landed during the Hadean period for 4 billion years ago. When a lot of smallish meteorites smacked into the planet. Paul Davies, indescribable. The pair suggests that the true essentials for life is information, which somehow calls the shots. Whoa. Chris Hadfield, oddly familiar. Like a baddie. Like a baddie at the club with some BBLs. Jason Wright says, highly skilled builders and engineers. Nerd alert, nerd alert, nerd alert, nerd alert, nerd alert, gets no bitches. What a nerdy answer. Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson, not huge, hopefully paying attention. <laughs> He's such a smug dude. <laughs> not, have you ever seen him? He's super, he's like a million times smarter than me, but if you've ever seen him, he's like, he's like, you know, Spectrum, like on the spectrum, smart. If you ever seen him get clowned, he's such a dork. Well, you know, um, actually, uh, you'd be like, hey, Neil, how big is Pluto? Well, how much? Let's dive deep and see how much Pluto really weighs. And he's like, if you added 15 dump trucks into the size of 15 grains of sand into a 38,000 boxes of, of putty and then put two crayons up your butt with 48,000, 69, 49, 69 Neil deGrasse Tysons in 54 Neil deGrasse Tysons, that would equal one Pluto. And you're like, all right, bro. I mean, I get Miles. Miles is... Miles is fine. Yeah, he's a dork. Dork alert, nerd alert. One of my favorite scientists. Used to be Bill Nye before he went woke. Because he got... Bill Nye's got a... Bill Nye went after the liberal woke agenda. Now it's Neil deGrasse Tyson's. I don't think he believes in aliens, though. Well, that was cool. Um, you know, we do what we can, do what they want. I'm going to look up some... Sick concert footage. Let's go parking lot. We'll end this show out with parking lot metal reactions, which is a new genre I'm creating. Heavy metal parking lot Judas Priest concert. At my eye doctor. Oh my gosh. Sorry. The year, the year is 
1986. Into the Capitol Center this Saturday. Choose Priest Live. I'm gonna get copyright playing. Dang, sorry guys. Let me just look at them. Hold on, we're looking at part metalhead part parking lot metalhead. Oh, that's a good looking group right there. Yes, sir. Oh, is that the tour bus? Oh, it's the band's tour bus. What? Oh yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Metal up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that is a. Uh, old school metalhead right there. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that police. Look at that freaking pit. Ah, oh, y'all better not be smoking any cigarettes out here. Oh, there it is. Oh, metal babes. Yeah, so I just, uh... <laughs> All right, we're looking at heavy metal parking lot. Heavy metal Sonic. Check this out. It's, it's, this is like dark web type concert material. Okay, we're just going to do heavy metal fails. Thank you, autocomplete. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> Ooh, if you're just listening and dude jumped off. If you're just listening and dude jumped off the riser and ate shit. <laughs> the lead singer started humping him. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I think this song just went, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's why I love metal. Fuck. That's why I love metal music. Oh, he seriously got hurt. He had to leave the stage. <laughs> the lead singer's like, you bitch, get back here, bro. <laughs> Little beat, okay. Some random dude in the crowd, some random dude in, in the crowd just tried to take his microphone. That was lame. Oh, I know. Oh. <gasps> that is embarrassing. I can't. The cringe. Oh, at least he got back up. Oh, he feels real dumb now. Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Some dude ran up on stage and flicked the lead singer off. <laughs> He's swinging his guitar. <laughs> that was pretty metal. That was pretty metal.
This looks like a sick show. Whoa, whoa, I miss it. What's going on? I don't know what just happened. He's shredding. Sick. Sick. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that makes me cringe. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're just listening. <laughs> the I guess maybe you heard it. The fucking the sound cut off right in the middle. The power didn't go out. Just the sound. So we went, what the fuck? Ooh. <laughs> municipal waste, sick show, dude. Just imagine telling your homeboys, bro, you going to the municipal waste show tonight, dog. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we're going to municipal waste tonight. I'm gonna get municipally wasted. <laughs> Squealy. Super squealy. Sick riff. Sick fucking riff, dog. Gnarly riff. No fails so far. Only sick metal. Oh. Oh. He just jumped from... 15 feet in the air and in the pit. That dude's not okay. But that was, that was really metal. Wall of death. Oh, I missed it. I skipped too far. Here we go. Sick wall of death. Wall of death review. Baby Gronk just hit Wall of Death 1v1. Baby Gronk Riz in the Wall of Death. Baby Gronk did Baby Gronk in the Wall of Death TikTok challenge. <laughs> Baby Gronk. Come on, heavy metal on my ass. Whoa, she had her baby at the mo. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> her baby was in the mosh pit her baby was in the pit I need to rewind and do <laughs> a double cat she had her baby in the pit <laughs> that is a baby Right there. That's a baby in the pit. <gasps> There's a baby in the wall of death at an outdoor music. F she brought her baby to the pit. Oh wow, that's a, that is <laughs> what the fuck? couldn't find a sitter, but fuck it, I love heavy metal. 
Oh my God. And the crowd does not give a fuck. Nobody around her even gave a fuck. <laughs> they were like, you come to the fucking pit, you get what you get. Don't fucking bring your baby to the pit. Unbelievable. That is incredible. <laughs> One dude, hold on. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Damn. Whoa, did I see the baby again? There's the baby. There's the baby. Okay, somebody is protecting him. These two dudes are like, why is your fucking baby? Oh, no. I see, I get too far ahead of myself. Okay, there's, yeah, there's arrows. Oh, they're helping her out. Bro, what the fuck? Look at this dude's like genuinely concerned. And there's another dude that is laughing. He's concerned, but he's like, what the? <gasps> Please, ma'am, get your baby. <laughs> Please, ma'am, get your baby out of the pit, ma'am. Your baby needs to leave the pit, ma'am. She said, what the fuck, dude? I was jamming. Insane in the men motherfucking brain, dude. Whoa. Incredible footage. That is better footage than any alien shit. That is rare, rare footage. Whoa. 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 Wow. Oh, is that a her Marie? Oh, I've seen this one. Oh, 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 do you want to see? This is so racist. You want to see my guitar tree? You see my... <laughs> Sick. Oh. No, no, I ain't met him in, I met him in re. Look at a goat. He killed it. He played it off. Oh, nice. He's the goat. I love you, Herman Lee. All right, we got Cannibal Corpse up. I'm, I'm going to end it on Cannibal Corpse. Ah. What happened? Fuck it. Yeah, let's go, daddy. He's going in. Somebody, he saw something. He's going into the pit. Skip. I thought he's gonna kick him off the stage. There's a fan head banging with him. Damn, he jumped off. That was a long, he jumped back in the crowd. That was a long jump. Oh, wow. That was sick. All right, I'm calling it, guys. Long live heavy metal. I love you all so much. I'm out. Please go to the Patreon. Support me. I'm broke as fuck. Please help a musician out. I do this full time. I love you. Uh, check out the merch. Check out Earl Shreds. Follow me, please, on all platforms. Follow me on YouTube, especially, please. Go check out the um, guitar tip video I did on Monday. Check that out. And um, be on the lookout for my single. I can't wait. Love you guys so much.